According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, electronic stability control could save up to 10,000 lives a year. More than enough reasons to make it standard on the 2009 Sonata. I want you to watch what we're about to do because you've never seen anything like this on television. Hi, Wolf. All right, big round of applause. Uh, we did it. Uh, there she is, uh, Jessica Yellen. Uh, you're, I know you're in Chicago, but we've uh, done something, a hologram. We beamed you in. We beamed you in here uh, into uh, the CNN Election Center. Uh, I want to talk to you as I would normally be talking to you if you were really face to face with me. I know you're a few, th uh, at least a thousand miles away, but it looks like you're right here. It's like I follow in the tradition of Princess Leia. Uh, it's it's something else. It's the first time it's been live on television, and uh, it's a remarkable setup. If I could tell you about it for a moment, uh, I'm inside a tent in Chicago that's been built. Engineers spent about three weeks doing it. There are 35 high-definition cameras ringing me uh, in a ring around me. I'm in the center and they shoot my body at different angles and I'm told that transmits what looks like an entire body image back there to New York. Uh, these cameras, I'm told, talk to the cameras in New York so they move and they know when to move when the cameras in New York move and uh, it looks a little different from a real person there but it's pretty remarkable. We're joined now uh, via hologram uh, with by uh, Will I Am, uh, who is live in Grand Park. Let's see if we can uh, beam him in now. Here we go. Will, thanks very much for being with us. Uh, how is this night for you? Oh, this is great. You know, we're at the eve of uh, a brand new day in America, and it feels good being here in Chicago. Uh, all this technology I'm being beamed to you, like it's Star Wars and stuff. Let's talk a little bit about uh, how you did this. You came up with this idea. You know, I know you've been thinking about it for a while. There's this green room, and I think we have some pictures of it. There it is right there. Um, and there's some, there were about 40 of these cameras uh, in a semicircle in, the, in this rig. We began to call it the transporter. Um, and the cameras are fixed. They don't there's move. There's Will I Am right there. Right. Um, and the cameras in our studio here, where you and I are right now, were basically broadcasting telemetry of information of where they are in the studio and the cameras had to calculate out the right perspective of Will I Am or Jessica so that they would have, he or she would appear to be on the red dot over in the corner of the studio. It was really complicated technologically, the sound was really complicated. I didn't know if it was going to work until yesterday. I mean, literally only moments before we did it the first time with Jessica Yellen and, and me, uh, we, we were all nervous. We were wondering, is this really going to work? It's either going to work or not. And it worked. Yeah. Uh, so we got a future in this uh, hologram business. Well, we'll see. I think, you know, it, 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 it was a little ornament on the tree. The heart of our coverage yesterday was, was calling the races, projecting the presidency, covering those amazing moments last night. But, but television evolves and how we do things evolves. And at some point, maybe it's five years or 10 years or 20 years down the road, I think there's going to be a way that television does interviews like this uh, because it allows for a much more intimate possibility for a remote interview. I'm Wolf Blitzer. Every weekday, I wrap up the stories rocking the political world in our new video podcast. Go to iTunes or CNNPolitics.com and be sure to subscribe to CNN Equals Politics Daily.